Welcome back to the Coding Fanatic YouTube channel. I'm your host, Richard Clark, and I'm a full stack Android developer with an eye for efficiency. If you're on this channel, I teach you about ways to be efficient and find the best ways to learn new skills, navigate the workplace, and also how I work on my projects, my own Android apps. If that sounds like content that you are interested in, then hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and you'll know when I upload new videos like this each week. Also, join the Coding Fanatic mailing list, and you'll be the first to know before even YouTube, before Twitter, before anybody when I have new content like this. If you are new to the channel, then I'll catch you up. As of late, I've worked on a learning how to use a real-time database with Firebase so that I can build a backend for my apps and pull the information into my apps. Last week, I finished a finalizer project that displayed a list of names, pulling that information from the real-time database and displaying it in an app. Now that I have that skill down pat, I want to apply the same principle and the same technology to my first app, the Salesman's Travel app that I have on the Play Store right now. And I want to apply this to that so that I can pull a list of addresses from a real-time database into the app. So it was pretty straightforward. I did the same thing I did with the list of names app. I created the Firebase project in the Firebase console. After that, I downloaded and moved the configuration file to the proper directory in my project. After that, I added the real-time database SDK as well as the Firebase SDK into my app so that I'd be able to properly integrate this into my app. The last thing left was to click sync so I can start setting up my database and ran into a build error. So it said something about the manifest merger failing and I, I'm guessing it has something to do with my Android manifest because well the error told me so and it recommended a line of code that I can paste into the activity tag within the Android manifest. So. That's exactly what I did. Went over to the Android manifest, I pasted in the code, tried to rebuild the project, and now I got a new manifest merging error. So here I am at the very last step. All I have to do is click sync and uh, I'm running into these issues. So I'm not entirely sure what the origin is behind this error. I I've never seen this before in my life and I followed the directions exactly down to a T. So, I'm not sure what it is, but you already know. Stack Overflow, Google, DuckDuckGo, and everybody. I'm going to be looking everywhere so I can get to the bottom of this and continue moving forward with this app. Now, I, I suspect that the reason I'm running into this issue with this project, and I didn't see it with the List of Names project, <clears throat> is because the Salesman's Travel app was created in January of last year, 2019. But the List of Names project was built only a few weeks ago. So the project files in my older project might be missing some dependencies or some sort of configuration that a newer project automatically comes with. And so when I tried to add in the dependencies for the real-time database SDK, as well as the Firebase SDK, that might have caused some sort of issue because it just did. But the list of names project being newer probably has all the, the right dependencies and project files needed in order to integrate these SDKs and start getting to work. That's my that's my, my hypothesis. That's what I think it is right now. But again, I could be wrong. The only way I'll know for sure is by doing my research online and figuring out how I can get the Fire, Firebase integrated into this app. So that's going to be my next move is doing some research and figuring things out. You know, uh, I, I think I've, I've come a long way as a developer because something like this, I would have been a lot more frustrated with it before, especially since, you know, I followed the instructions perfectly. It's just, I don't know, there's something amiss here and I have to figure out what that is now. There's no problem. There's no issues with my code because the project has not been touched since I last updated the, created, rebuilt it and uploaded the new APK and a new build to the Play Store. You can't upload, you, there's no way to create the, generate an APK if there are, are bugs in your code. So I know that's not it. It, I don't know, we will, it's a mystery to me, but you know, we'll, we'll figure this thing out together. And of course, is like I always say, if you have any input, you have any recommendations, or you even if you know what the issue could be, go ahead and leave a comment down below. So that being said, 
Once again, this is your host, Richard Clark, signing out. Thank you again for your support. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you see when I upload each week to YouTube. And also join the mailing list on Coding Fanatic and you'll know when I have this out, even before the people who are on YouTube. So, you know, once again, thank you all so much for your support and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.